welcome to cooking with babes abroad um, today I'll be teaching you guys how to make um, salmon gluten-free hamburger so you start off with toasting your hamburger bun or you don't have to toast it I just like to have toasted buns I like the crunchiness because if you take a bite on it mm, you know that sound so anyway, so I toasted my, this is a gluten-free hamburger bun. So if you are gluten-free, buy you the gluten-free hamburger bun, okay? If not, you can use any kind of bun you like. Also, I have spinach. So what I'm gonna do, um, I am in incorporating more greens into my diet as well, because I suck, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I suck when it comes to greens. So I'm trying to incorporate more greens into my diet. So instead of using, you guys know how we use like lettuce and uh, romaine lettuce and stuff like that. I decided that I was gonna do these cabbage. You guys see how beautiful it is? The purple cabbage, it's amazing. Okay, so what you do is you slice it very, very thin, okay? That's what I'm doing. I'm cutting it. So I think that would be enough for your hamburger. Sorry, I'm using my hands, but that's enough for your hamburger, especially if you don't want the hamburger that big. Okay, so I'm gonna put it back in here. I have to use a different Ziploc bag because I just ripped that Ziploc bag. Then you use mayo, but I use the avocado mayo, okay? And it, you don't have to put a lot on. Like that's how much I put on. And then you just rub it on your burger bun, okay? That's all you do. Oh, I love the sound of crunchiness. I grew up with crunchiness, so I love crunchiness. As a kid, I always used to eat the pot. I always ask my grandma, can I have the pot? Because that's where the deliciousness is laying in. But anyway, so yeah, this is, you don't have to put too much on, just a little, okay? I have my tomato, and then I have my vegan cheese, okay? And then you have avocado, you use avocado. So I'm gonna grab the salmon. So I bake my salmon. salmon. Look how nice that is, guys. I baked it deep upside, okay? You don't want it at the bottom, upside down, because that's the best way to cook your salmon, okay? So what I'm gonna do, since I don't eat that much, I'm not gonna put the whole salmon on my plate. I'm cutting it in half, and then I'm cutting it in quarters, okay? Oh my gosh, guys, look. Oh, sorry, but it's hot. Look at that. So it's very hot. So I cut it in fours, okay? So I'm gonna put one, like that. So that's how I'm doing the first one. So I'm gonna put purple cabbage. So you put purple cabbage. Then you put your salmon. Oh my gosh, it's already looking amazing. And you put your salmon. Okay. Guys, do not attempt doing this. Please don't, because this is so dangerous. So I think I'll just put it down. So then you slice your tomato. Thin slices. So I'm gonna put it on the cabbage. So I'll show you guys what I'll do, just to give it that extra color. So I'm putting it on my cabbage, 
You can put one piece of tomato or you can put two pieces of tomato. It's all up to you how you like, how much tomato you like. Guys, okay, see that? Cool. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm adding my spinach on top of the tomatoes. I'm trying to make sure that I don't mess this up. So I just bought the pre-cut pre baby spinach. So I'll put it on the tomato. So I'll show you guys as well how I'm putting it. So it's the purple cabbage, then it's the tomato, and then it's the spinach. And then I'm layering my salmon on top of my spinach. Okay, and then I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna add my avocado on top of that. So I'm cutting my avocado like not too thin because I realize if you cut your avocado too thin, then it breaks. Okay, so I just cut it three pieces like that. And then I'll layer it on top of my salmon. Okay. So I think I'm gonna make it a little bit thinner. I just cut it a little bit too big. Because I do want it to sit even on the salmon. So yeah. Actually, yeah. If you cut it thinner, you can layer it better on your salmon. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And once you're done with that, it's up to you if you want to add more tomatoes, but I am not going to mo add more tomatoes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my cheese right now. And like I said again, if you're not vegan, gluten free, you can buy any kinds of cheese. So then I'm layering my cheese on top. Okay. So I'm layering my cheese on top of my salmon. I'm switching it out because I think it's better if the cheese is on something warm. And then after that, you add your avocado because it looks so much better. I'll show you guys the end result, but it's the best. I tend not to eat a lot of salt, but you're more than welcome to add salt and pepper to your hamburger and then you layer it on top okay i'm gonna add more purple cabbage just to give it that extra look okay and plus i love cabbage Voila guys, and there you have your purple cabbage gluten free bun with salmon. So enjoy and once again, please go like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and let's support each other and help grow each other and learn from one another's cultures. Thank you guys, I really appreciate your guys' time you're giving to us.